Today, flames roared at several businesses in downtown Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg Fire says the fire started around 630 this morning. Crews worked all day to put those flames out and those remaining hot spots. Reporter Chris Lucas spent the day on the scene talking with business owners who say it'll take a while to recover. A quiet early morning turned into a busy day for firefighters, all because of this fire next to the old Gatlinburg Inn. So people just watching the stores around it are open, except for what the police have blocked off. The busy spot closed down and traffic backed up. I hope it just contained to the one building, but I believe there's other shops above hookers. Firefighters did their best to prevent the fire from spreading, but in the end, some other businesses also saw damage. Our store will have to be closed for longer than maybe anticipated at this moment. The owner of Old Smoky Candy Kitchen said they might also need to throw away some of their candy because of the smoke. The director of Candy Concepts said Puckers is one of their beloved restaurants. Puckers was in the heart of the fire. I have faith that um, no matter what this brings, we'll move forward stronger. Some people who are visiting are also affected by the fire. Edith Davis from Texas Dallas had tickets for the sky lift that had to postpone. I was really looking forward to the sky lift and the bridge up there, and I'm definitely afraid of heights. As of now, officials don't know yet what caused that fire. The parkway will remain closed between traffic light number six and Reagan Drive in the meantime. Gatlinburg officials are asking National Park visitors to take the bypass instead to go around those closures.